Welcome everyone to a brand new Minecraft Let's Play. Minecraft 1.18 just released and we got all new mountains and caves. So much to explore. Let's get started with this series. Whoa. <laughs> the world looks so different already. Hello everyone, I'm Gemini Day. Welcome to my Let's Play world. Right, okay, uh, let's get our bearings real quick. Look at the mountains. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. Look at the meadow. The village. There's a village, okay. There's sheep, there's so many sheep. There's huge mountains, giant rivers. Where do I even start? Uh, right, I should probably survive, huh? Let's start off by just prancing over to pink sheep. Hello, hello, you're so cute. Oh my goodness, hello, I'm gonna name you uh, Dandy. Dandy, oh my gosh. I've not, I don't know that I've ever seen a naturally spawned pink sheep. Anyways, village. Hello, villagers. Uh, don't mind me, just grabbing some food. There's literally another village down there. What the heck? <laughs> Anybody home? Uh, that's mine now. Thank you. Hello, farmer. Don't mind me, I just need a couple of things. Thank you. And like in any good Minecraft Let's Play, we have to chop some wood with a view this time. What a view! Hey, uh, focus, focus. Okay, with some wood acquired, we can now make our very first tools with this crafting table. So we're gonna start out with just a wooden pickaxe. That should do it. Honestly, I think these meadows are my new favorite biome already. I love them. Anything? Oh, sorry, sorry, I'm, I'm interrupting. Anything in here? Oh, here we go. Some potatoes, some bread, emeralds. I'll take it. To be honest, this village doesn't have a ton more for me to take from. There's no blacksmith, but I will pick up a few of these pumpkins. I already feel like the exploration in this world is greatly improved, and I've hardly even done anything. Look, there's a hole in the ground. Kind of a big hole in the ground. Hello? Okay, there's a lot of baddies down there. Do you know what? We'll just chill up here at the surface for now, being wimps, and we'll get some new tools. There we go. Upgrade acquired. Can get some copper. I don't really need copper. It just seems like a really impressive first ore to get. And there's also some super easy iron over here. That's what I like to see. A little cave snack. Don't mind if I do. I missed this early start of the game so much. It's genuinely so fun to play the beginning days of Minecraft. And I have a lot of goals for this world, to be honest. One of those goals is for this world to just sort of exist as a nice comfort for me. We're getting an update in the winter months, which is kind of interesting. I'm really excited to play in this world throughout the winter and be able to do a bunch of lovely little comfort builds around. We'll take things at our own pace and build up the world over time. That's a pretty big herd of horses, huh? Gosh, this update is incredible. There's so much to look at. As beautiful as these villages are, I want to see the brand new terrain. So I think we ought to climb a mountain. Can't be that difficult, right? Climb a mountain on first day in Minecraft? Whoa. <laughs> Look at this world. This is a fantastic place to watch the sunset. And by watch the sunset, I mean sleep peacefully right here. Nothing quite like a good slice of bread and a sunset over a mountain. Ah, I missed this. Minecraft is just so cool. All right, okay, we sleep though. We sleep. It is the first night. I'm not very well prepared. We sleep. As beautiful as my mountaintop campsite was, I think it's time we move on. We've got to find the perfect place to build a starter house. Don't worry, Dandy. I'll come back for you, okay? And so off we went to explore the new terrain and see what this Minecraft world had to offer. I picked out this seed especially for this Let's Play and I'm really excited about it. But so that I don't spoil it for myself, I'm going to release it to all of you when this video hits 30,000 likes. That's a fair few likes for my channel and I'm hoping it'll allow me to get an episode two out before we get to that goal so that I can explore with no spoilers, but you still get the seed. Let's take a moment to deforest, hold on. Deforesting accomplished. Oh, berries. Mind if I do? Oh my goodness. What is this? Whoa, it would be a pretty cool place for a starter base, but it's not perfect. It's a little, uh, spiky. Very spiky. <gasps> Whoa. Okay, just a quick peek. I'll just, I'll just take a very little peek. It's so different from anything I've ever seen in Minecraft. I, I don't even know what to think, but it, it's really good for copper. Seriously, why is there so much copper? 
the expedition to find my perfect starter base location continues. But you know what? I'm actually feeling like hiking up another mountain. Easy does it. Climb the snow. Oh, look at this view. Oh, look at this view. Oh my goodness. It's beautiful. This is a Minecraft grove biome. Now this is epic. And you know what? I think it's mine. This shall be my starter base location. Just needs a little cleaning up is all. And perhaps it's time to make a furnace as well so we can smelt some of this iron. Oh, we will have to use wood though. That's okay. Sun has set on the mountains. Let's take our first nap in our new home. Little bit of snow clearing is in order, but I'm Canadian, so I'm kind of used to that. That's okay. The addition of a quick little chest makes this our official home. I mean, it's got everything you need. A bed, a crafting table, a furnace, and a chest. That's the Minecraft rules, right? You, you just need that? That's that's a house? No, I'm kidding. That's not. We'll, we'll build. We'll build. Birchwood right in our house as well. That's perfect. What a treat. I have a couple of different goals when it comes to this Minecraft world. Beyond just being able to relax and chill in this world, I also have some building goals that I would like to accomplish and exploration goals. I'd like to do a couple of things that I've never really done before in a Minecraft world, like some of the achievements. Just, you know, getting better at general survival stuff. On the building side of things, I'd like to go for some different themes, but for now it's just a starter house, so things are gonna start pretty simple. Oh, there's a cave. I uh, don't mind if I do. Hello, spider. Seems to be just the baby cave, but we can get some coal, so that's good. More iron. That's what we like to see. Okay, we've gotten acquire hardware. There's even more smelting. I think it's safe to say we can officially make our first chest plate. That's right, I'm going armor. I'm scared. It's a new world and stuff, guys. It can't be too safe. But of course, we will also be going with a iron pickaxe. I will use the stone one first though. And a sword, since we didn't actually make one of those yet. We'll keep the first wooden pickaxe for safekeeping. It's all about survival in these first couple of episodes, getting established in the world before we dream too big. I really think that spider is just guarding the emeralds. Hey, my monster hunter. Er, sorry. I'm a big fan of a fairly simple starter house, just big enough to do the trick and to be nice and quaint and cozy for me. It's not every day you get a view like this for a starter home, so we're gonna go with a fancy little front deck action. It's pretty cool, I think. I've always wanted a wraparound deck in real life, so I feel like doing one in Minecraft. Simple little roof. Should be pretty cute, I think. You know, there's something nostalgic about going back to the spruce wood and oak palettes. It's nice. Why do I make a lot of mistakes? I think it'll be weird to have an oak wood floor. Hopefully that's not weird. Sun is setting. It's about to be our first night in our new house. A little breezy, but yeah, it'll do the trick. Couple little details along the deck, of course, just to finish it off. And some safety railing because of how I am as a person. All right, now I know it's not much, but it's an honest starter house. It's got a nice deck, a great view, everything you would need on the inside. It's good. It could definitely be better though. If I'm to turn this grove into a place where we can actually survive and thrive, then we need to get surviving. That's basically a really long way for me to say, I need to farm. We need food. This bread is not gonna last forever. Okay, two problems. First of all, no water. Second of all, uh, no wood. Luckily for me, the wood problem is easily fixed with the trees on the other side of the mountain. And the water problem can be fixed too. I just need a bucket. Luckily, there's actually a ton of iron right near where I'm living. I didn't expect the ore population to be so dense up high in the mountains, but it actually is. 24 more iron, that's not bad. Bucket acquired, now it's just to find a water source this high up. Okay, don't mind if I do, thank you. Now I know this isn't necessary for the functionality of a farm, but I thought I would make it look pretty aesthetic as well. Since we're building up in a mountain, I want this place to look like it's supported sort of here. Trusty iron hoe, and hopefully this should do it for the fields. It's our very first farm, everyone. I know it's not much, but we're working on it. Anyway, if we could just get a couple of wheat seeds, that would be ideal. How much grass am I gonna have to break to get seeds? Hello, Minecraft, seed. Thank you. I've punched quite a lot of grass and I've gotten four seeds, but good news, peonies. <gasps> Excuse me? Who are you and what are you doing here? That's legitimately, I don't have a shield. I do, I do not have a shield. I would like to go home. I would like you to go home. I would like everybody to go home. I'm just farming. 
I'm farming! Can't you see I'm farming? This grove is not as peaceful as I originally anticipated. Not to fear, though. I have a shield. That's what I thought. Not so scary now, huh? I didn't even- I didn't even use the shield. I, it was the confidence boost. I needed the confidence boost. Hello! Are you the leader? Thank you. Oh, ouch, ouch. Oh, I might actually need the shield here. <laughs> I'm fine. Uh, I'm- uh, this is fine. I have bread. <laughs> you have piercing? I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. Okay, good news. We have the banner of our enemies. Bad news, we've been poisoned by the enemies. This ought to keep any future pests out. And peonies. I know they don't like peonies. Right, it's a brand new day and it's time to search for a heal. To my bad omen. A heal will come in the form of milk, which means I need either a goat or a cow. I see neither at the moment. I see a pig. You can't milk pigs. I see donkeys. I don't think you can milk donkeys. Oh, <gasps> is that a goat? I think I saw a goat. Very treacherous climb up the mountain, but it's okay. I need healing. Hello, goat. I require a rescue service. Thank you. Oh, oh, but that was magical. Wow. Okay, I'll take one for the road. Thank you. It's snowing, everyone. Well, if this is not the most magical thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Wait, I'm genuinely so pleased with this. What is going on? Well, as awesome as this is, it's a long hike home. We'd better get started. You know what? I bet the rain is good for the crops anyways. Store our milk away in the kitchen, and I've had an idea, everyone. I want to be like a protector of this grove. This is my grove now. It's under my protection. There shall be no more baddies anywhere in sight. But in order to uphold that rule, I need a watchtower. A place where I can guard everything that happens in here. For my own safety and the safety of the goat residents. First things first, though, I'm gonna need a lot of supplies. This next part of my plan calls for some mining, and I see the perfect place. I think. Possibly. Man, I'm not gonna lie to you, this could just be a really pretty crack and it's it's just a really pretty crack in the ground, okay? All right, I've been baited. Chickens, have you seen a good place to mine? Okay, take two. Oh, that looks promising and terrifying. Hello, hello skeletons, yeah. Why did it have to be a million skeletons in the cave? Why can't we ever have bunnies in a cave? Do you know, fluffy bunnies in a cave, you guys ever heard of that? Wouldn't that be cool? Oh, all right, okay. You know, this one might be a little too advanced for me. Okay. You know what? I'm feeling brave. Let's go in. Creeper. Not a big deal. We can handle creepers. This cave is huge. Good news. I've collected some iron and hopefully I'll be able to make some pants. Pants acquired. You know what? We may as well get the emerald while we're at it. It's so pretty. There's so much of it. We've got some boots. Right, zombies. I put my pants on. I'm ready to take on the world. Don't mess with me. Oh boy. This looks like an extremely deep cavern. Look at that. Whoa. I don't know if we're ready to take on something like this. The good news is for my watchtower, I just need some materials like cobblestone, coal, iron, andesite, things to build out of. So we don't need to go too deep. I see some andesite right there. So if we just wiggle our way down here, hello. Perfect. I love the way that andesite and granite and things spawn now. It's kind of cool. Look at that cave. Oh, <laughs> I'm excited for some exploration later. Oh, hi. Hey, <laughs> I'm just farming andesite, please. I think about a stack of andesite blocks should do it for my starter guard tower. Mission accomplished, I think. Time to leave. Oh, look at the sun just setting over the mountains. It's perfect. It's my perfect grove. Oh, hey, we've got our first harvest ready as well. Four seeds. With this helmet, I officially have a full set of iron armor. This is a good first step to our defenses, but an even better step would be to build a tower. So my game plan is to just attach the guard tower to the starter house, like so. Hopefully we'll be able to access a ladder in here and climb all the way up. 
With the plan in action, I quickly got to work on my guard tower, but I kind of forgot how many materials things require in the early game. So I had to gather some cobblestone and head off into the forest to chop down one of those giant spruce trees. This was massively helpful, and with those materials, I was able to finish off the guard tower, which is just a really simple cobblestone and andesite column with a pretty roof on top. It's kind of Tangled movie inspired. I honestly don't know a ton about defense, but this feels like a very strong start. I have a great view of the grove. I know it's a starter house, but I still love just placing in all of the little details that make it look more like a home. Oh, that looks great so far. What a good guard tower. I know what it needs though. Cheers. Bushes. It needs bushes. Honestly, one of the absolute best lazy detail blocks is just signs. We're just gonna place signs. And it doesn't add much for depth, but that little bit of color really helps, I think. Yes. Must place moss. Good, good. Now, as for the interior, if I break this wall, I'm in the tower. Now, while I'm not sure exactly what I want to do with this tower, we definitely need a ladder for now. Up we go. It's perfect. Home sweet home. It's not much, but it's honest work. Now, while I'm in the process of placing slabs everywhere, we need a pathway. I've put my pathway going this way, towards the bulk of the inside of the grove, but we need a way down into the farms. And I'm thinking spiral staircase. I mean, I'm a sucker for a good spiral staircase on a normal day, but this pathway just kind of screams spiral staircase. It'd be cruel not to put one here, really. Okay, perfect. I've got a spiral staircase now going around the tower towards my entrance and down to the farm. I love it. Of course, up at the top here, we'll just get the path kind of roughly going towards the staircase. That'll work. You know, I realize I've done all of this defensive prep and, uh, well, I've not done a door. Anybody can walk in here. Problem solved. Door placed. Beautiful. Now that we have a door, I think we can officially call this a starter house. And now that things are kept very safely in my tower, I feel like it's time for the next stage. There are a few necessities that every good survival world must have, in my opinion. One of those very important things is room for an animal pen. So I think if we just build up this little area over here, we should be able to squeeze in some lovely furry creatures. Okay, it's a very organic shape, but I think that gives it some charm. Now, we just need animals for it. Specifically, we actually need cows. And unfortunately, when I was looking for milk earlier, I didn't see any in the grove. So we have to populate the grove with some cows. Now, uh, does anybody see any cows? Cause I don't. Oh, 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 what is that? Whoa, what? I'm sinking in it. Wait, is this? <gasps> This is snowy or snow. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I need to get out, I need to get out of there. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Wait, that's kind of cool though. It makes you shiver. Oh, <laughs> what? I actually love that effect. I know it's meant to kill me, but it's kind of cool. Oh, and speaking of, I see a cow way over there. All right, okay, we'll go on a journey. One singular cow, oh boy. I really need you to have at least one friend. We would find the one introverted cow in the forest. Come on. There we go. I found you a friend. Now the only thing stopping us is that whole mountain. Mm-hmm. Should be fine. I'm sure we got it. It was in fact not fine. <gasps> I looked at an enderman. Oh, I've hit a cow. How's it gone so wrong? Ha! How is... How is it even possible for this many things to go wrong? Come on then. Oh my goodness. What is this? <laughs> oh my goodness. Some graves for our fallen cows. Yay, now we have to look for more cows. Good, good. Aha, cows. Hello, hello. I promise I will keep you safe. I promise. Okay. Wonderful, good. I'm glad we're on the same page. We're going up that mountain. Honestly, I do think this is going fairly well so far. Almost home, come on, come on. Wonderful. Home safe before the sun even sets. And now there's a child. Now that's what I call a successful day. Nothing like a baked potato on the patio. Okay, so cow farm is going well. Starter house is going well. Guard tower went well. Farms are going well. What 
are we missing? We're missing sugarcane. Somehow I haven't picked up any sugarcane in my journeys and I don't see any in the grove. So once again, we trek back up the mountain to supply the grove with some much needed new flora and fauna. I'm hoping we'll see some water and some sugar canes over here where we spawned. Whoop, don't fall down there. <laughs> Is that lapis exposed? What? Oh, this might have been a mistake. Hi, glow squids. <laughs> I just, I just wanted to see the lapis. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Yep. Yeah. Whoa, whoa. Look at this. We can get our first lapis right here. Um. Sorry, I just, I just really, I really wanted that. I'm sorry. Okay, I know I'm getting distracted, but like, just a quick peek. Come on, I mean, the caves are so cool. Now, I, uh, I have to dig my way back up. This is awkward. Oh, I got distracted, and now the sun is setting. <laughs> Gonna have to sleep in a village for a moment. Uh, awkward. Okay, back on the mission. Sugarcane. Really need sugarcane. This ocean down here is looking promising. Whoa! Is that an ice spike over there? That's so beautiful. That's not the mission though. The sugar cane, right over there, I see some. Nothing new in the ocean that can kill us, right? They didn't add sharks to this update. Uh, I hope. Oh, they, there are a lot of drowned. Sugar cane, don't mind if I do. Uh, sorry, sorry, excuse me. I just needed sugar cane, I'm so sorry. Okay, mission accomplished. We'll come back here another day to explore and set up maybe a little secondary base. Honestly, the things that I do for water in this new update. <laughs> I'm just plucking it from the mountains, don't mind me. Look at my base from up here though. It's so cool! Okay, I know it's not perfect, but I think this can be our little mini sugarcane farm for now. Should do the trick and it's easy access from my starter house. Sometimes when I'm just hanging out in my survival world, I try to think of things that I could possibly craft that could make a cool details. Like composters. They're super easy to get in the early game and this is, oh my goodness. Composters are super easy to get in the early game and they're really cute as like a little farm edge design. I use them almost all the time. I just really like the way they look. Plus they're functional as well. And then, if you're not a big fan of the tops of them, all you gotta do is make some trap doors, and you can just go around and give your farm a cute little border. I like that, it looks a lot more official. We can also go ahead and waterlog a stair to be in there. So there's still water in there for the crops, but uh, you can't walk in the water, which saves the annoyance. I feel like I've spent so long in this world so far, just kind of vibing, chilling, like moving around, doing various tasks that I need done. I cleaned up my house a little bit. I really like it. I've been on SMPs for so long, I'm not used to being able to set the pace in the world myself. There's no pressure in this world to move at any pace other than the one that I want to, which is really nice because it means I can get distracted as many times as I want. Smokers, yes. Honestly, as far as starter houses go, I think this is a pretty good one. I will sacrifice exactly one iron for a lantern. But it's worth it, look how cute! This starter home has come together wonderfully and there's only one thing missing now. Dandy, I told you I'd come back for you, see? Come on, I've built us a whole home. It's beautiful, you're gonna love it. Uh, you didn't tell me you had so many friends, Dandy. I am attracting every sheep in a seven mile radius. <laughs> It's a lot to handle. It's, uh, mildly concerning. I don't know if you've ever tried to scale the side of a mountain with two sheep, but, uh, it's difficult. It's very difficult. Dandy, you've pushed off your only friend, Dandy. It's the grove! Beautiful, isn't it? Come on. We're home just in time to see the sunset. You ever just sit on the edge of a cliff with your favorite pink sheep and watch the sunset in Minecraft? I me either until right now, but, you know, it's actually quite fun. It's quite good. Now, uh, we are going to have to speed up this process if we want to survive the night. Uh, arrow in the shoulder, but uh, it's fine. I've got Dandy and we're home. Do you not know how to work a door? Okay, all right, come on in. Perfect, home sweet home. Dandy, do you like it? Here, you can have a treat. Now, uh, slight oversight on my part. I don't have windows, okay though? We compromise, we overcome these challenges. Fences, fences are windows. You and I are going to be very happy here, Dandy. Very happy indeed. Well, 
What a lovely day it has been on Minecraft today. If this sort of playstyle resonates with you and you're into the series so far, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That is going to be all for me today though. I feel like we were so productive. I love the pace that we've set up and I cannot wait to do even more in this world. If you're excited for this let's play, let me know down in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your ideas and suggestions. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye everyone.